Hello friends, my name is Amul and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Microsoft Excel micros. So this is kind of beginning. Uh, if you want to learn VBA, Visual Basic application for Excel, this is kind of starting. Or if you are learning or, or just want to become a um, robotic process automation developer or architect, uh, this will be very handy and good to start for you, okay? So, or if you're a daily user and you want to know how to create micros in Microsoft Excel, so this video is going to be helpful for you. So, this is 2013, Microsoft Excel 2013. This will work on 2010, 2013, uh, 2016, and Microsoft 365 as well. Micros are available on other similar applications like open office libre office so you'll have to figure out how you can use micros in those applications okay so so you'll see i have created two micros you can see alphabet and numbers so let me run the alphabet basically there are shortcuts as well that i can use here so the shortcut is Control Shift A. This is going to type the numbers, and this is what the first type of micro that is just kind of very static. It cannot type in a different uh, column, okay, uh, or a diff from a different cell. So basically, this is first type of micro. The second type of micro is like this. I guess I forgot the okay i remember now so the the shortcut is control shift b that's totally your choice this type of micro can be used in any column from any cell so i can type in c column as well i can start from d5 as well okay so this is very useful one this will really save your time if you have to do type something or you copy keep copy copying and pasting from one to another place same thing this is going to be very handy so to create these two types of micros i'll go ahead and show you how you can do it okay so the first thing first uh, when you launch the microsoft application you land on this ribbon tab you would not see this developer tab okay you will have to add this developer tab to your Microsoft Excel ribbon tabs. So I'll show you how I can delete it and add it to the ribbon. So you go to file, then you go to options, and then you go to customize ribbon. And then you click on this drop down sign here, and then go to main tabs. You'll see under this main tab, there's a developer tab here. So you want to select it and add it to your main ribbon. In case if you did not like, you can select it and remove it. So as I have removed it, I'm going to add it. So select it and add it. In case if it adds on your Excel on very top, you can go on top and on the bottom using these buttons. Okay, so I want it to be on the very bottom and then I'm going to click OK. So this is the developer tab and you will see there are uh, there are a few tabs in this uh, code section the first one is vb that is basically visual basic application uh, microsoft visual basic for application this is for advanced um, automation x microsoft excel automation developers or debuggers okay so if you know vb then fine otherwise just forget it like i do and the second thing is micros so micros are basically very easy to record and save okay and run so micros any micro that you create is 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 stored here i'm going to delete them so yes i definitely want to so that i can create okay 
these two types of macros again for you. So the first type of macro you can create is just by pressing the record micro button here. So I'm going to press it. It will ask the, the, the name, micro name. Uh, so you type like just I'm going to type number. Also, it gives you an option to create a shortcut. So shift A, that is going to be control shift A. And then you type a description as well. So this micro types numbers. Okay, and then say okay. Now here it has started recording. Now you want to type something. Okay. So this is this is all. Okay. So you just want to stop the recording now. Okay. So I'm going to delete it and run the micro. So control shift A. But the limitation of this kind of micro is this will not perform the task in a different column. Okay, you see here. So this is the limitation. So we are going to use a second. Use, use relative reference so second type we are going to create the second type of micro that uses relative references okay so you want to make sure that it's on just click once and it will turn into green okay but depending on the excel theme color theme okay and then you click on record micro again you just type the name of the micro alpha bat and you want to create um, shortcut B, Control Shift B. Description is totally option, optional. Uh, this micro uses relative references and types English. <laughs> Sorry. Characters. Okay, so just click OK and then you get started. So I'm going to type everything in uppercase. So A, B, C, D. Okay, that's it. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. Now you want to stop this relative reference and then stop the recorder. So I'm going to close, uh, delete everything, and then I'm going to run the micro with relative references. So Control Shift B. So this may happen. Okay, this is basically saying there is some issue with the micro application object defined error runtime error 1004 so this is where the vb visual basic comes in picture okay so if you know the visual basic you can debug it okay so sub numbers you see number micro this micro types numbers shortcut keys okay so i'm going to quickly create another micro so that will work number i'm going to delete the no, no alphabet deleted it and i'm going to create again very quickly so micro and this is going to be alpha shift oh, shift S this okay micro uses relative reference. That's it. Don't have time. I'll click OK and then start typing.
Okay, so this is what it does. Basically, it types everything and then you want to stop it. So go to developer and then stop it. Then I want to test it, okay? I want to run it. Let's see if this works. So I'll control shift S and it did work, okay? So you can see here, it recorded everything at it, you see. And this also types in every column from every cell. So this is really useful. It can save a lot of time and you will be more productive. So this is how you can create micros, both type of micros in Microsoft Excel 2013, 2016 and cloud-based Microsoft 365 as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye for now.